I think what North Heights need is really, um, I think it really needs a chance to be great. Um, but what I also think is I think it needs, uh, it needs support, it needs partnership. Um, and I think that it should be looked at as an opportunity to uh, support, an opportunity to partner with um, the community to help make it better. North Heights needs a lot. Uh, uh, most importantly, uh, redevelopment and development is, is high on the priority. Uh, months ago, the community came together and, and kind of devised a uh, neighborhood plan and redevelopment and development was one of those, one of the greatest needs that we have in the community. Uh, so this North Heights Linen uh, service uh, helps to uh, feed that need. The $5 million laundry facility is planned for Amarillo Boulevard on a site where the long-closed Inn of Amarillo sat crumbling for years. The city demolished the motel in late 2017 and recently sold the land for the linen service site. Actually, if I'm honest, I don't have a memory of the end of Amarillo actually um, in operation. Um, and that's how long it had been there. Speaking for the people that I know that I visited with, when that the hotel was removed, it was another sign of hope and a, and a major victory, a major win for our community. So we were very happy to see that happen. I think that the, the, the big thing about the, the laundry, I think, is that it is something for everybody to be excited about. Um, this is not something that is isolated um, to North Heights. It is located in North Heights, but it's not isolated um, to North Heights. It is something that is going to benefit the Heights, um, but it all, it's also something that's going to benefit the city of Amarillo. When we started this, uh, I was clueless as to, you know, what actually goes on in the hospitals. And I was unaware that our local hospitals actually pay to transport their linen uh, to another location. And so when I found out that we were doing this, immediately I thought of what an impact this would be for Amarillo as a whole, but most importantly as North Heights. It would give the hospitals an opportunity to save a considerable amount of money uh, by keeping uh, that service at home. There is one hospital that we have um, had some conversations with. There is a, a, uh, a, a memorandum of, of understanding, you know, that is, that is there. They recognize that the, uh, the laundry is coming and they committed to, to using the, the laundry. Now, as the laundry prepares to be erected, um, I think that it's going to even generate an additional buzz, an additional excitement. For me, the main goal is to provide hope for our community. What the linen service will do is it will create jobs in North Heights. Uh, in the beginning stages, we're looking at anywhere from 30 to 40 jobs, uh, with the end goal being up to 100. Uh, and the employees, uh, these the people that will be targeted, will be those that have made, you know, maybe made some bad choices in life and, and given a, another opportunity. To, not, to have a living wage job, not a minimum wage job, but a living wage job. So that helps eradicate some of the poverty that's in our area. It's a, a cooperative, so it will be owned by um, the workers of the laundry. It gives the, the uh, employee an opportunity to have a voice. They, they'll have a seat on the board. So uh, a person's perspective or work ethic has a tendency to change when they know they have some input on some of the decision making. It gives um, the people that are in the community, those that have been left out, those that are less fortunate, um, those that are left behind, um, those folks, it gives them an opportunity to realize that, hey, there is hope, um, there is something that we can do. Um, and not only can we do it, but we're not just um, another worker in a mill, but we're actually um, creating ownership. Any type of wealth, if you look at any type of wealth, you know, historically, um, wealth is created. Um, generally based on ownership um, and that is something that I think is important for the community to help understand that hey when you have ownership that's how you create wealth that's how you create legacy that's how you transfer wealth and transfer legacy. The laundry business model is based on one used by Evergreen Cooperatives of Cleveland. Evergreen and its partners create jobs through sustainable businesses a laundry, greenhouse, and contractor providing energy efficient systems. The goal is to give local residents an ownership stake in transforming their low wealth neighborhoods. Uh, we went to Cleveland, I believe it was in July, to Evergreen, visit the Evergreen Co-op, and uh, we, we had the opportunity to see, we toured three facilities, two, two were laundry sites, 
and we got an opportunity to see how it all works. It's large quantities of, of, of linen, and to see that go from dirty to clean, was it was amazing. Uh, and also the employees there, they were, they were hardworking people, uh, people that have, again, you know, made some poor choices in life, but were given a second chance and, you know, were able to get a job with living wages and have benefits. Uh, so it, it was a sight to see. Uh, if, if I had any doubt going into it, I was convinced when I got to Cleveland. You know, when someone builds something and it, and it becomes a magnet, it draws a lot of attention, then it, it increases the attention for other developers to want to look and say, okay, what can I do to add to this revi revitalization of this neighborhood? As the community supports the laundry, as the community gets behind it um, and supports the laundry, I feel like um, I feel like it's going to be extremely, extremely successful, and it could potentially be the the roadmap um, to additional um, opportunities, additional businesses that could come in and, and, and help um, drive um, additional investment into North Heights. I believe that uh, if a person owns something, um, if they bought into something, they treat it so much differently. Uh, and not only do they do that, but it also gives um, it gives them the capacity to to dream bigger. Um, to dream bigger. In my mind, this is really just the beginning of what it could actually be in North Heights.